Hey smileys, hey, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video and welcome to my household plant tour. First on the list is one of my favorites, the ZZ plant. This plant sits at the bottom of my stairs. They love indirect sunlight and they don't require much maintenance. And basically, they thrive off of neglect. Next up, I have a small collection of various exotic angel plants from Home Depot. I'm actually not sure what kind of plant each of these are with the exception of the snake plant because I'd recognize that one anywhere, but they're all equally beautiful. These little beauties grow best in medium light and are great for indoor gardening. I use different planters including this mini terracotta pot which is so cute and the perfect addition to my decor. This is a Croton Mammy, which sits in my window because it loves bright, indirect sunlight. I love its shades of red, orange, yellow, and green, but what sets this one apart is the shape of the leaves, which are crinkled instead of broad and flat. I also have a few faux plants in the mix. Faux Plants Need Loves too. These are both from TJ Maxx. Quick fact. Terracotta pots are made from porous clay that actually breathes, so the natural minerals and salt from water cause the white buildup on the pot. But this plant is in the cane family. It needs a good cleaning, I know, but it typically has dark green glossy leaves. It likes medium to bright indirect sunlight and will easily burn in direct sunlight. Here are a few more exotic angel plants. I use them throughout the house as living decor. Some of the benefits of house plants include reducing stress and enhancing your mood. They purify and improve the condition of the air and they're beautiful to look at among many other benefits. This is the pothos that never stops growing. They're great for propagating. I can't tell you how many other plants I've started with this single plant. Right in front of my fireplace, I have a small peace lily and a monstera. And I also like to keep fresh flowers in the house so I make it my business to replace them every two weeks. Oh boy, I've had this snake plant for many years. The snake plant is known as one of the plants of steel, as is the ZZ plant. And it's because they're among the easiest to grow of house plants as they don't mind low light, low humidity, and irregular watering. And this little guy is a white bay Chinese evergreen, which is a sturdy plant that is great for beginners. This is a mini snake plant. And I'm worried about this fiddle leaf, which was much fuller than this when I purchased it. So you guys send up some prayers for Fiona the fiddle leaf. This is a raindrop plant named after the shape of its leaves. It also enjoys bright light, which is why I keep it in my sunroom. Here's a cute cactus plant. It doesn't require much attention at all, as we all know. Cactuses, you know, they just kind of do their own thing. And my beloved white bird of paradise, which is finally starting to cut new leaves after a pretty bad chemical burn incident. You live, you learn, you grow. And I also recently added a water and sunlight loving elephant ear plant on the deck.
as well as a beautiful Boston fern. So I guess you can say I've officially become a plant lady. Thanks for watching, smileys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a huge thumbs up. See you in the next one. Mwah.